Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Pop quiz. What is Chris Perillo addicted to? Any answers? Take a guess. Well, one of the things I'm addicted to is fonts. Uh, my fontaholic tendencies have, have kind of uh, dissipated over the years, but I, I still like looking at a, a really cool font that I might want to use on a, a web page and a graphic and a, and a document. I like fonts. I've got fonts all over the place. <laughs> I've got them on my screen. I've got them in this video. There's some font on the web page that you're on, unless, of course, you're watching this video that's not on a web page. You're still looking at fonts in some capacity. And we've got a question here from the PC Pit Stop community uh, from Robert, and he's asking a question related to fonts. When I print web pages from a website, the font is usually so small that my old eyes find it very difficult to read them. Is there an easy way to get them to print larger? Yes, the answer to your question is buy a bigger printer. Actually, it's not uh, an accurate answer. That's not going to help matters any. The answer is likely relative to the web browser that you're using. Uh, my recommendation for a web browser uh, is Firefox and or Safari, WebKit, Google Chrome. Unfortunately, if you're still using Internet Explorer, wow! Wow! Well, it doesn't matter. No matter what browser you're using, you should be able to change the font sizes on a web page before you go and print that web page through the web browser of your choice. Now, if you are having a problem and, and you're trying to make the fonts go larger, and, and by the way, to figure out how to make the fonts go larger, my recommendation is to check the help file that's associated with the web browser, because I'm not going to go into every detail for Safari, for WebKit, for Opera, for uh, uh, what are the other web browsers I said? Oh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, the list goes on and on. Look it up. Trust me, there's a way to change the font sizes. Now, in Internet Explorer, which I'm guessing you're most likely using, you actually probably have to change one thing inside the Internet options in Internet Explorer. It's actually related to accessibility. If you go into uh, Internet Explorer, and I'm not going to point it at, on the screen that you can see because I don't have Windows running on I almost damaged my monitor there. Uh, I have Windows running over on, on this particular computer. Don't believe me? Well, I'm not going to show you. You're just going to have to believe me. Uh, you go into the General tab, and there's a little button there uh, in the Internet Options panel for Internet Explorer, and there's an Accessibility button that you want to click. And in there, there's an option to ignore font sizes specified on web pages. So in Internet Explorer, even after referring to the help file and tweaking font sizes, you may need to toggle that option. So there is a way to do it. I'm going to tell you the other web browsers make it insanely more simple to zoom in on, on a web page, not only on your screen, uh, but also when you go to print things out inside the web browser. In fact, one of the, the reasons why I like Mac OS X is I can uh, you know take my little my mouse and uh, as soon as I get it on the right screen, I can zoom in uh, like really close. See, I just right click there. See, I can, I can see all those options really. I can zoom all around my screen, see what I got. Isn't that great? You can do that. It's built into Mac OS X. You hold on to control and you use your scroll wheel up and down. There are utilities available for Windows. However, I really have no specific recommendation for Windows users other than to try Mac OS X. It really is uh, uh, less filling and it tastes great. My email address is chrisperillo at something.com. What is it again? Hang on, let me ask the chat room. Well, guys, what's my, what's, my, uh, what's my email address? I've kind of forgotten it now. Oh, that's right, chris at perillo.com, and you can feel free to drop me a line anytime. You're more than welcome to join us in our community of tech experts, geeks.perillo.com. That is, if you are a geek, and only if. And it doesn't matter if you're a geek or not, if you have questions or if you want to share your own advice with the rest of the community, you can do so in the chat room, the chat room that is live, because, uh, you know, chat rooms that, you know, don't really have live people in them are just kind of boring. Kind of like my live stream throughout the day. However, my live stream is still going on. The chat room's a part of it. Going out over the web 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.